Welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do tags, related, and notes in your Zotero library to further organize your items. Uh, you already can create folders, which are called collections, um, in your private library and also in group libraries. But to go further than that, you can add uh, tags and notes and things on folders uh, and on individual items. So in this folder here, we could go right up here to this third item, new note, uh, and do new standalone note and just add a note to the folder saying everything in this folder is like for project one. Okay, super easy, all right? Um, and then on individual items, when you click on it and you look over on the right side where the info is, you can t tab over to notes and then you could add a note to that particular item. You could also use this space to add an annotation to an item if you have to do an annotated bibliography. You will have to copy and paste that into your, um, your works cited. It's not going to download as an annotation, but it could be a, a nice place to store that so everything's all together. All right, so adding notes is that easy. Um, a really nice way to keep your thoughts together. Um, the next piece is tags. So I'll just tag tab over to tags um, while I'm looking at this uh, first article, Evidence of Compounded, all right? And you'll see a bunch of tags are already on this. These tags have downloaded from the database, so it's probably subject headings or author-supplied keywords, okay? And you can easily delete them if you don't want them on there, just by clicking the little uh, minus sign. But you can also add tags. So I'll just add the tag taggy. All right, um, you'll be choosing tags and groups to, um, to tag your items. So you'll figure those out together and then you'll all use the same tags. Uh, so be sure to get with each other to figure those out. I'm just gonna put taggy on a few of these items. All right, so I've added the tag taggy to three items. Now if I go up here and search for taggy in the tags and field search box, I'll see those three items. And it doesn't matter where they live in the library, they don't have to be in the same folder. Um, they'll just show you everything that has that tag. Um, in relation, if I put in beetle, you can see a lot of them have the tag beetle from being downloaded from the database from a search about spruce beetles. So um, tags can be a really nice way to organize um, your items. Um, now, kind of a specialized tag is related. So I'm, I'm going to actually go down to the summer and winter drought drive. Um, I'm tabbed over to related and I can add and what it's going to do is give me the option of searching my library. Okay, I could jump around into different folders, even in the groups, okay, and choose an item that's related to this one. So let's say that summer and winter is a response to this if long term resistance article. So I'll just say these are related and I'll hit OK. And now they're connected and it's actually linked. So if I click right here where it says if long term, it's actually going to jump me over and show me the related articles to if long term, show me that summer and winter and I already had a related article on there. Um, so you can see how you can just go back and forth and see those connected. Um, like I said, it would be more for items that are maybe a response to another article. Maybe you have a part two. Maybe you have several editions of a book in your library and you would like to make sure those things are related so that you know that you have varying versions or parts of an item. So that's really easy to do. All right, so that's essentially adding uh, notes, tags, and related in the downloaded version of Zotero. I'm going to sync this and then minimize, and I'm going to come over to online Zotero and refresh this. So for those of you that can't download Zotero, um, you can do this online as well. So um, here we're looking at our 605 folder. Um, you can see um, that standalone note that I made for the folder. And then if I look at, say, summer and winter drought drive, I think I put a tag on this one. Yep, there's that taggy tag, okay. Um, now what you can do is you can go up to the green create item little plus sign, and you can say create item note and add a note that way. Or when you're clicked into it, you can do edit, and then you'll be able to edit all the fields, go down to the bottom, you can add tags, and you can add a note. You cannot connect items that are related in the online version that I've found. Um, that can only be done in the, the downloaded version, unfortunately. But you can add tags and notes. I'll save that. 
All right, so it's as easy as that. Um, and like I said, you will be using some tags in your groups, as I understand. So make sure you get together and figure out um, the uniform tags that you're going to be using so that you can um, take advantage of that feature. Uh, so as always, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions uh, and have fun researching.